all right what's up everybody out there in youtube and facebook land it's your boy rome it's thursday night i'm in these streets i got my backpack full of love here i'm going to be dropping this off to someone in need along i-10 katie freeway if you're not from texas or houston you probably don't know where that's at but it is a very long highway and the sad thing is under almost every overpass is someone homeless sometimes entire homeless families living under the bridge i mean it's it's a horrible thing but that's just the way of the world today so all we can do is get out and do whatever little bit we can to try and lessen the burden on someone. So let me get all my tunes set up, get ready to roll. You know how we do it. Ooh, that's a little too loud. I can't even hear myself think. I can forget how, sometimes how, <laughs> how loud these speakers are. All right, guys, let's get to it. I gotta say, this has been one beautiful week and it looks like it's gonna be a repeat next week. So you already know, your boy is excited. I hope there's not too much wind, because it is a bit, bit windy tonight. But you know what? It's all good. So, I live down in the Katy area, you know, I party, work, and play uh, down in Houston for the most part, and I found one area that I seem to pass all the time that always seems to have a very large homeless community, and that's right here at Highway 6, but literally any place you go in the city, and I'm sure in most major cities, it's the same. You'll find homeless camps. You'll find individuals living in some of these wooded areas like you see here to my right. Behind buildings, abandoned buildings, abandoned homes. You know, any place that they can call home. It's sad, but it's true. And by no means do I think in any way by any stretch of my imagination that you know what I provide for these people in a backpack is going to change their lives because it's not but if anything maybe it brings a little bit of joy a little bit of happiness in their lives then if that's the case and I achieve that goal man it's worth it I think about my own life I feel that I'm blessed in so many ways. So, those of us that identify the fact that we are blessed, I'm not going to try and, you know, pressure anyone or guilt anyone into doing anything. But if it's in your heart, then get out and do it. Whether it's, you know, helping the homeless, helping some returning vets, like through Camp Hope, donating items to a school that's underperforming. You know, they may need pens and pencils and notepads and you name it. So any way you can help to make this world a better place, man, I'm all for that. It is beautiful! Wind is nice. If I had hair, 
I could imagine it be blowing in the wind. <laughs> but, you know, I could use my imagination. So hopefully the camera is picking up this beautiful scenery. And I do plan on this weekend, man, getting out and hitting some of them backcountry roads. I think I'll do that on the Busa though. This is a different kind of ride out there. But, you know, most of the guys I know, you know, brothers in the club, individuals that ride, especially doing these country rides, they said, man, there's nothing better than getting out and enjoying this beautiful weather. A slow, easy-going cruise. You know, just rolling. I have to agree. I mean, just from me riding around the city as it is, I can easily see exactly what they're thinking about, what they're seeing, what the, you know, what they're experiencing. Now, this is a bridge that would normally, before the city started really, you know, shutting down and fencing off a lot of these under air, under uh, pass areas, that you would normally find a lot of homeless out here panhandling and things of that nature, but. As I said, you know, a lot has changed, you know, since the city. In so many ways, it's almost like they've outlawed being homeless. Somebody said once, the path to hell is paved with good intentions. And I honestly believe that in many ways. You know, we're planning, you know, we want to help people. We want to do things, but at the same time, you know, we're not thinking about where that's going to leave these people, you know, before um, or after you make these big drastic moves in their lives and change everything. see a couple of guys over there under that bridge.